Toble Red Boxing here with Kali Sowland. Kali, welcome back to the channel. A legacy fight, a fantasy fight, so many words to describe yeah. what's going to be happening on October the 8th. Talk to me. Born rivals. Born rivals. Born rivals. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. How dare I forget that? And, um, no, it's, uh, it's a sort of fantasy fight, isn't it? No, I, I keep on changing my name for it. Iconic, fantasy, um, legacy, family feud. You could really, there's so many different ways of selling it, but you don't need to, I don't do too much selling. As you know, it's up there today. We'll let them roll with it, ask them a few questions, and off they go. You know, it's fantastic. It was the most easy presser I've done in my life. Apart from Eddie getting a bit cheeky when, I when he told me I was selling porky pies, coming from the biggest porky pie teller on planet Earth. But yeah, but anyways, that, it'll, there's a, still a second presser to come. I'll get him, I'll, you, you better watch out. My left hook's coming. Quick counter. Even though you say that, what I will say is um, from the boxing fan perspective, which is the perspective I come from, thank you very much for doing the cross-promotional work. It's something that we've spoke about before and it's something that we really need in boxing. Talk to us about how this fight was. I'm not going to say easy to make, but talk to us a little bit about the procedure to get this to work. Yeah, I mean, the first thing that helps in boxing is when everyone wants to do it. So... Junior wanted to do it, Connor wanted to do it, um, probably the only two things they'll ever agree on. And, you know, I wanted to do it, Eddie wanted to do it, um, and that, that was the good, that's the good news. Then, of course, it's how do we do it? So it was a very long process of, of going through the different points on, you know, like, you know for the discussions today on weights. That, well, it, sounded, it made it very sound, very simple up there. That was a big point, of course. Money was a big point, you know. Uh, the timing of the event. I could go through this, but it's boring for the viewers, you know. There was lots of big points. These points, by the way, are always big and big fights. But when there's so much... Yeah, at stake. You know, there's big heavyweight title fights. There's also things at stake. I've had to negotiate them before as well. But this has got more at stake than titles. This has got family honour. I haven't used that one yet today. Family honour. Sounds like a mafia movie now. And, but it, that's what it is. That's why the questions I asked up there of, of Chris and a bit, bit of Connor as well, they weren't normal questions. I wouldn't ask a boxer at a press conference, so did you, when you were a kid, sit down around the dining table and talk about your opponent's dad? Like, and and it, you know, I never make notes I never I, 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 I like to work ad lib I screw it up quite often but I quite enjoy screwing up because you learn but today I had to write down the questions I wanted to ask because I really enjoyed writing those questions and there were there were psychological questions I thought but neither of them really answered totally <laughs> straight with me was the mindset in training camp. You're going to do the same training camp. I get that. And like Connor asked, Connor answered it with, "I'm going to train as hard as I can, like I do for every track." It's a good answer, but I was more referring to like your mindset. It surely is different when your whole life you've had this person in the name. No matter how um, famous your opponent is, whatever, they can only have been active for so long. Whereas this here has really, that name has gone, you know, for, for Ben's side, the, the Eubank name, and for Eubank, the Ben's name, it's gone through their whole, with them their whole lives. Growing up at school, wherever it's been, it's always been there. And now, you, now you're fighting him in eight weeks' time. That's for me, I mean, I love a bit of psychology. That is, that's interesting. That's deep. But it is what, you know, the fans want to see. You know, I was there to watch the original fights with the dads. Yeah, I was a lot younger then, but it's it was a household name for fights. It was something that you grew up watching. So to actually see the children making the sacrifices to either come up in weight, go down in weight, cross-promotional work, all of the sacrifices that they've had to make, that the boxing fans don't really see um, because we are quite fickle, it's good for the sport. Absolutely, absolutely. This fight will reach old, new viewers. People who watched boxing in the 90s and stopped. Because where, if, they, if they were still watching, 
where them 18 million people gone? They're all dead, right? Because I watched it, I'm still around. But it goes through society. It can be, you know, it doesn't, like, doctors, teachers, I've had all sorts, everything on the, on the, on the phone. Like, is it going to get made? I'm like, crikey, bloody hell. I think, it's, I think it's the fight where I felt the most pressure to get it made. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. But I'm patiently waiting to speak to Chris. I'm going to try and hold him down. But I've got, uh, yeah. We'll be speaking soon. Oh, definitely. Uh, hopefully I'll see you on the night. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.